You think they use me on their commercials after that? Well, I, I, I said I, that. I think you've made it. I think you've made a good pitch for it. <laughs> Yvonne Lendl serving for the second set. Won the first set six four. And some people still moving about behind the players. Listen, with the, with the height of that guy, I'm not sure that I wouldn't rather return Tanner's serve than Don's serve. Play. Delay. What's the what's the reason, Rocket? There's nothing obvious. Play. I, Ivan is uh, just saying I'm ready, and uh, Boris is over there yawning. <laughs> Playing Captain Mouse at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. The German fans behind us here, clapping that first serve fault and do it out there. Comes in and Lando goes right by him. You know, there was not a good angle there for Lando. You watch the uh, replay here, you'll see he approached in a very good spot down the middle of the court. Now, for you to find an angle from that position is not easy. You saw that he got that by Becker and it landed virtually on the line. That's the kind of shot you have to play when you're forced to make the passing shot from the middle of the court. Great play by Lendl. And it's quickly very wide. And you know Lendl brings a sigh of relief after that, Roger, because it is a critical thing for him to try to keep Becker feeling mentally on his heels so that he doesn't come into the net. And those passing shots will do it. Triple set point for Yvonne Lendl. Seems like, seems like Eva, Ivan is uh, just dictating play down here. Boris is going further and further behind the baseline. Mm -hmm. Just not able to uh, judge Lendl's serve or his ground strokes at the moment. Well, he's dictated play all week. He shouldn't be able to against Becker. If Becker was playing uh, his normal game, it's very tough to dictate against Becker, but you're both right, he is in this final so far. Game. Second set, Lendl, 6-4. Second set to Yvonne Lendl, 6-4. Rod, I think we may be looking for too many negative things from Becker and maybe losing sight of the fact that Yvonne Lendl is making almost no unforced errors, is serving well, and is taking every chance that he gets. I, I totally agree. Yvonne has, has not missed the ball. He's, he's, as I said earlier, he's floating around. He's full of anticipation. He's, uh, he's on every shot. He's, he feels like he's got about two or three different ways to go on the ground strokes. You know, he hasn't come to the net too much, but uh, you know, he's got uh, Boris really rattled at this at this moment. And you know, that slice backhand is keeping low, and of course Boris can't do anything with the topspin. 15 miles. Lindell lost just three points on serve in the second set, just four points on serve in the first set. What do you do? Well, I can only... I'm astounded by that statistic. I wonder when lost it, it happened to Boris Becker that he won so few points on a serve. In a set, mind you, and remember that there was a do set so that all three of those points must have been in that game alone. All other games were one to love. Exactly. Absolutely right. I think you're looking at a, a great champion at the moment. Yvonne is, uh, is timing the ball tremendously. He hasn't made an error in, in, in which way to go. He's like that last chip down the line. That's one that I think Tony Roach has, has taught him over the last couple of years. 15 off. 30, 15. The ace for Decker, his eighth. Well, we spent a lot of time last night and during the week speculating with the press and spent a lot of time trying to give you a feel for this story of the number one player in the world for this year. That may all be academic. I just think 
uh, on the personal aspect besides the tennis the confidence he has as a person though, and some of the chances we've had to talk with him the interviews he's done this week 30 all 30 all that combined with the work Roach has done with him See, I've always thought that Lindell is a delightful guy. Oh, yeah. He's, he's just... But he had a negative image that was created. That's absolutely Not necessarily right. by him, but by his demeanor on the court. You know, in most other professional sports, when you see a guy who spends a lot of time working on it and who develops a skill that is unmatched anywhere in the world, normally that's, that's a case for admiring him. Well, in the case of Lendl, as you watch that replay, somehow there was a sort of a doer attitude that he seemed uh, to, to be giving out, and of course that's just not him. Passes with a backhand, and it's a deuce. Advantage Becker. Advantage Becker. Well, we talked about this with VJ Amatraz the other night comes over to the country, learning the language, new surroundings. You have a certain demeanor on the court. And you perceive to be something that in your heart, of course, you're not. Right. But as we saw the interview you had with him and Jack Nicholas and some of the personality that's come through, the delightful guy. Trouble for Becker. Faced with that situation, even if it's down the middle of the court, Lindell's not going to miss that kind of a shot. Take a look at it here on the replay. Talk about efficiency of shot. Gets that one low. Becker's forced to half volley. Now Becker knows he's in trouble. He starts to make his move. Could you see it to cover that forehand from Lindell down the line? And of course, Lindell went cross. Flip, I think that last point that uh, with Lendl's little chip there is the difference between him two years ago and today. He's, he's a more mature player. He didn't go for as much that time. He, two years ago, he might have tried to blast a big uh, passing shot. This time, just chipped it short. And Boris Becker able to win the first game of the third set. We'll return with more coverage of the finals of the Nabisco Masters right after this. Yvonne Lundell, of course, the top-ranked player in the world, originally from Czechoslovakia, now makes his home in Greenwich, Connecticut. And he's disappointed with his home country because he feels the Czech Tennis Federation didn't live up to an agreement they had. My part of the agreement was that I'm not going to play in some countries where uh, they ask me not to play, and uh, I will pay them some fees, and uh, I will uh, I will play Davis Cup for them and all that. And uh, I did it for two and a half years, and uh, from their part, what they were supposed to do, they didn't do anything. That was a very emotional soundbite from Yvonne Lendl. There is some bitterness, quite yes. obviously, but in his feelings towards Czechoslovakia. Now, it comes through clearly. He's obviously still at heart 